org slash live prayer. You are watching ISN, the It's Supernatural Network. Next, a... Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest has moved for many years in miracles, sometimes a creative miracle, but something just happened to him, and there is an explosion of creative miracles. He just got back from Argentina, and in a matter of minutes, 60 people had creative miracles. I mean, new organs, and he says it's transferable. Anyone interested? <laughs> ISN, the It's Supernatural online TV network and GEB America TV network join together to bring you this exclusive live TV event, A Night of Miracles with Sid Roth and his special guests, Apostle Guillermo Maldonado and his anointed worship team. Get ready to receive your miracle, your breakthrough, your healing. watching on GB America. Thank you, GB, for partnering with us on this special live program. Also, thank you to all of you who are joining us on ISN, its Supernatural Network. Well, are you ready for a night of miracles? I know I'm more than ready. Now, Apostle Guillermo Maldonado, you said that God spoke to you recently about body parts. What did he say? Well, as I said in the beginning, um, I have seen for 25 years healing miracles, signs, wonders, but I had never seen this kind of creative realm coming up upon the ministry. So uh, three months ago, I would say maybe six months, the Lord said, I, will re I want you to release angels. And when you release angels, they will bring body parts from heaven and put it into people. So I just had one of my conferences and there was a lady missing her thyroid, had been removed because mm -hmm. of cancer. So she saw the, the hand of an angel bringing the thyroid to her, putting the thyroid to her. So after she starts screaming, she said, I got my thyroid back. It grew back. In other words, I have seen it and, and I have seen it in all kinds of You know what? It's like God has given us an unfair advantage. <laughs> what I mean by that is once see someone that is a non-believer sees a miracle, they, they have their mouth open <laughs> and they want to know more. They, all of a sudden, it's like if they're spiritual scales, they come off. Because of miracles, I understand you've probably had a million people make professions of faith in this last year. I went to Pakistan and we had 1.2 million people. And uh, little meeting. 90, <laughs> 95%, 95% of those people were unbelievers and they came because we announced miracles. And that's what they, they, they said, our God is not, doesn't do miracles. So the, the, most of them were probably Muslim. Yeah, so they said, we want to see what this, and I, I, I preach on the cross, and I started, you know, praying for miracles, and it was thousands upon thousands upon thousands. And as a result, I would say 900,000 raised their hand, and they gave life to Jesus. Wow. You know, <laughs> they, 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 this is coming. And it's not just coming to Apostle Maldonado. It's not just yes, coming yes. to me. Yeah. It's, it's not just coming to television personalities. Yes. It is anyone that has the superstar, Jesus, living inside of them. Do you have the superstar Come on. inside yes. of you? Anyone interested here in seeing a video clip of these miracles? Yeah. Let's look. He was missing a floating rib on the right side. The moment you pray for her, the doctor went and 
checked her. When she began to check, she started feeling the rip. She checked her herself, and now she testified that she already has her rib. Why did you have that missing rib in you? I just found out when I was 16, but now I'm 19, I didn't know. And then I went to the doctor, said I had scoliosis, and I had a missing rib. I just want to say that I didn't want to come up, but when I closed my eyes, God showed me like an x-ray of my ribs. And then you said about creative miracles, and then my mom said, oh, go up for your rib. And then I went up, and then I just felt my legs like wouldn't stop shaking. So what did you feel? Uh, well, I checked her before to make sure what, I, what she has already. And then after praying, I shake again, and I felt the missing reef here, the floor. El Señor me dijo, the Lord said to me, cuando hagas el servicio del viernes, when you do the Friday service, ordenale a mis ángeles, command my angels, I already commanded them, ya yo los ordené, they have body parts, que tienen piezas del cuerpo, Apostle, 15 years ago, they removed the right side of her thyroid. The doctor completely removed it. She said that when you prayed, she saw the hands of an angel. Come and bring that thyroid. The doctor checked her. The thyroid is there. God did a creative miracle. So you saw an angel. My God, I feel the presence of God. I saw the hands of an angel placing something in here. And I felt the heat. And so when the doctor checked me over there, he turned me around like my doctor would and had me swallow. And he said he felt the right side of the thyroid. <laughs> Since February, she got a, a pneumonia and they gave her an antibiotic who sh that shut down her kidneys. And she came here today. She says the doctor told her that you sent a word that God was giving somebody brand new kidneys. She got a hold of that word. The power of God came over her. She says, I felt a fire in my womb. And even her skin has begun to lighten up because it was too dark because of the kidney failure. God put two brand new kidneys in this woman. So what was your condition before? I had an allergic reaction to an antibiotic. I got pneumonia back in December, and the antibiotic shut down my kidneys. They rushed me to the hospital. Wow, they gave me it. surgery, opened my heart, pulled fluid out. I had 75 pounds of just fluid all over me. I couldn't bend. I couldn't walk. I couldn't pick up my son. Wow. What happened tonight, daughter? I felt the fire, God. And what did you change? You changed My hands are so dark. And look, they're brown. Wow. There are adrenoglets on top of your kidneys that had to get removed because I had too much. How long ago? Since I was born, two weeks after I was born, I believe they took them out and I've been taking medication ever since. Wow. I just felt something push. Something pushing you? Yes. Wow. I feel it from here to my back. And you know, your kidneys are here. So I can feel. I've been waiting for this 26 this years. Oh my God. I've been waiting for this so 26 tell me, years. Tell me. She was born with tumors on top of her adrenal glands. In order to save her life, doctors removed her adrenal glands with the tumors. Because of this, she has been taking medication all her life. But glory to God, he heals her. In the past year alone, we have seen over 5,000 documented miracles. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The supernatural is visibly evident now. Uh, you know, I just, when I see something like that, I, I, I felt such compassion when I saw some of those people testify. Yes. And I can, I can, not almost, I see tears in your eyes. Yes. You were there and you're still tearing up over it. Yes. I believe, Sid, that the pathway to the supernatural is love. Uh, what moved Jesus to do the miracles wasn't faith. 
what moved Jesus, the motivation behind those miracles was love. Faith work with love. And I have seen the most incredible miracles when I see that compassion falling upon people. And it's incredible. Now, I saw a number of wheelchairs there, but you told me there was one meeting where God outdid himself with people in wheelchairs. You know, I've been doing supernatural encounters, and I went to Mexico. There was an arena for 20,000 people, and 42,000 people came to the arena. They, we couldn't fit them in there, so we got 22,000 people outside waiting online for 3 a.m. in the morning. People are sick and hurting and hungry. And unfortunately, the church cannot supply because it's just a little teaching and preaching. There's no miracles. There's no manifestation. But this is what happened, Sid. As the presence of God came, as the Holy Spirit came, uh, I heard the shouts of the ushers saying, Apostle, Apostle, people getting up on the wheelchairs. And suddenly, I see the massive 14 people pushing the wheelchairs coming into the stage. Came from the second floor, third floor, 14 wheelchairs. You, People, you didn't even lay hands? No, no, I, no, I didn't even touch. I didn't even pray. They just came running. They just, it was so, and, and most of those people, they were missing organs in their bodies, fingers, uh, bones, I mean, all kinds of, they sent them to die, and it was just an instant. 14 wheelchairs got up. You know what? Yeah. I am... I am sick and tired of bad news on the news. Come on. Aren't you? Come on, yes. I mean, I don't want to see that junk anymore. What if the news started reporting these events? But you know what? Can you picture the, the turning on the 6 p.m. news yes. and saying, uh, I had uh, my leg amputated from, my, I was in a minefield, <laughs> I was in, the, uh, in battle in Vietnam, and uh, this man, uh, the, actually, he, he was just a high school student, and he, he prayed for me, and my whole life leg shot out, and here's the doctor's report. That's good news. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Come on. And if this is totally transferable to other people. Yes, it's transferable. I have uh, activated thousands, I would say it in the millions, thousands upon thousands of people. I mean, people that just, you know, as m at the moment I imparted to them, they start doing the same thing. Okay. Uh, because, Sid, let me tell you something. What happened is, in America, we have what we call uh, uh, celebrities, even in church. And I believe the power of God is not based on a personality. The power of God is based on truth. So as long as you know the truth, and the, that truth is revealed to you, you will move in miracles, signs, and wonders. You will cast out demons. And this is the time for every believer to move in miracles. Well, guess what? Not only that, People are getting healed. <laughs> you see the reports that come in. People are getting healed just watching television. That's what, it is, uh, you know, Christian television has become mostly entertainment. I want to be a come flow on. Yes, of God's come on. spirit, yes. a flow of God's yes. glory. Um, uh, tell me someone that was watching TV that got healed of cancer. Uh, th this woman was watching TV. She was flipping the, the channels, and, and uh, she was... We all know about channels. Yeah, so, so <laughs> in the moment, in the moment I was ministering, and because in the, in the spirit dimension, there's no, there's no distance. So she took it by force, got the miracles, and completely healed. But th let me give you another more powerful testimony. I was ministering in one of the Spanish networks, and this lady had a baby missing the arms. She was pregnant. She was nine months. She was ready to birth, to give birth. And the doctor said, well, we need to, you need to abort because this baby doesn't have arms and legs. Right. So I was releasing and suddenly the Lord gave me a word through television and said, there's a woman, there's, there's the, your, your baby is deformed, but the Lord is creating arms and legs. So, but, but, but this is the most powerful thing. We got to document it. Sid, all those testimonies we document, we got doctors in our crusades to check all those testimonies. So she felt something in her womb, went back to the doctor, and the doctor checked, and, and, and she said, what, what, what happened here? We see something has formed in the baby. So she gave birth and completely whole form baby with arms and legs. Uh, uh, Pastor Guillermo brought his worship team called New Wine. But here's the difference between his worship team and most worship teams in congregations. 
they all move in miracles. Yes. Let's, <laughs> let's welcome New Wine singing Come on. Miracles Happen Today. Yeah, if you're watching right now, you know what? You tuned in at the right moment because whatever it is that's lacking in your life, God is going to supply. There's people watching right now. I saw somebody with a disease in their hands. And as you praise and as you lift your hands, whatever it is that was right there is going to disappear. And that's God telling you that you are receiving his miracle because he did miracles yesterday. He opened up the red sea, but he heals you today, right now. So receive it. Come on, clap with us. Miracles happen today, just as they did before. You say the same, never change. The God of power, we will proclaim with our faith that you alone are the living God of signs and wonders. Come on, shout it out! He did it yesterday, he does it now. He does it for you right here, wherever you are. Miracles happen today, just as they did before. You say the same, never change. The God of power, we will proclaim with our faith that you alone are the living God. Signs and wonders, miracles happen today, just as they did before. You say the same, never change. The God of power, we will proclaim with our faith that you alone are the living God. Signs and wonders, let the people shout and tell the deep that the king is here. Turn to more of our special presentation of A Night of Miracles in just one moment. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural miracle anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network, is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs. The message of the Bible has not changed, but it's a 21st century world out there. And how we learn about God's miraculous direction for our lives has changed. ISN takes our anointed programs out of the box and gives you complete freedom to watch what you want, when you want, and where you want. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. Or you can choose from dozens of powerful episodes of exclusive programs in our online library. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough whenever you need it, wherever you are. Download the free ISN app today. 
And now, back to our special presentation of A Night of Miracles. Now, uh, many years ago, I had, uh, I had a birth defect and I had an artificial hip put in. Now, uh, I had uh, Apostle Guillermo uh, pray that the metal hip would turn to bone. And he said, did you see a difference? I said, or, do you feel a difference? And I said, yes. no, but there's only one way I'll know for sure, to go through a metal detector at an airport. <laughs> but have you seen people have the metal in their body turn to bone? Hundreds. Yeah, tell me one. Uh, there was one case that this man in, in uh, one of the countries that I went, he got 51 screws and he got a metal rod in his back. And when, when I start releasing the presence of God and the power of God, he starts screaming, saying, I don't have the rod anymore. I don't have the screws anymore. And I say, what do you have now? I got flesh and bones. <laughs> now, I, I noticed when I saw the video clip, uh -huh. They talked about doctors. Do you have these uh, types of miracles verified by doctors? Yes, all my doctors, are usually in my crusades, I got doctors that they, they check before. And some of them, they have to go to the doctor and check and then bring back the results. Uh, sometimes people missing organs like, like kidney. But most of the time, people feel something. Something was put in them. You know, they said, I felt something was put in yes. me. So that is 99.9% sure that that happened. So when they go to the doctor, they, they got it. Uh, you say the gospel is simple, practical, and powerful. I, I believe, Sid, that, that uh, it's simple when you understand you have power and authority. When you understand and got the revelation who you are in God. As a believer, as I said in the beginning, the power of God is not based on personality. The power of God is based on truth. If you know the word, if you know the truth, you will do miracles. I've seen all kinds of people, young people, adults, moving in miracles. And they don't have any gift because the tradition is, well, you have to have a gift. Well, if you got the truth, that's enough to do miracles. Yeah. Do you mean today... If someone operates in miracles, they'll give you your own television show. But that's not the way it was intended. Come on. And that's not the way the early church was. You know, in the early church, or in the Catholic church, I think they say you need like three bona fide miracles to be a saint. Well, in the early church, the average believer had three bona fide miracles a day, maybe an hour. That's normal. <laughs> it's time the world got normal. Tell me about a uh, transfer of this resurrection power. Uh, tell me about uh, Reverend Paul from India and the nurse with the brain tumor. Okay, we do, we do uh, a supernatural school of ministry. We train leaders. We train people. We do all believers. So this pastor came from India. Uh, as he was activated, I, I lay hands on him. I, I speak the word. He was, that got the importation, went back to India. And uh, a woman, uh, her baby died. And call him as soon as he got from Miami to uh, India, and and he said, "Can you come and pray for my baby?" So, uh, you know, he prayed, rebuked the spirit of death. Her baby came back to life. <laughs> so now, Sid, this is not a person. He's not known. He got a nice sized church, but it's not known. Again, we're going back into Mark 16, 15. If we preach the word, do we believe the resurrection? Do you believe Those Jesus is believe. alive now? See, what happened is if you ask me a question, why the church is not moving in miracles, I would say that we're preaching a historical God. No, miracles doesn't happen in the past. Miracles doesn't happen in the future. Could, miracles happen now. Could that be, could that be why there's been such an exodus from churches. When I became a believer, if I didn't go to church, I would be considered unsaved. Today, I think more than half of the good Christians aren't even going to church because this is what they say. It's boring. Yeah, because there's no, there's no, the gospel has become, that's what I'm saying. The gospel is simple, it's powerful. And if we believe who we are and what God has done and what I have done with, with the believers. Tell me about the nurse with the brain tumor. Um, she, 
she was healed. Uh, apparently, it was terminal disease, by the way. It was not, you know, in the testimony. It was a terminal disease and released her into the hospital. And she watching me by television and, and she, she was healed. She was delivered. And then she stay in the hospital where she was, you know, she was healed. And then now she came to one of my schools. She was activated and went back. And now all the babies that, one baby actually, that was, that was dead. And all those babies, all, all the patients with terminal disease bring to her, they bring them to her for her to pray. When there's somebody with terminal disease, they bring it to the nurse. She prayed for them and got healed. But and there's a baby that died, died in the hospital. And she said, I start rebuking the spirit of death. And that baby came back to life. You know, th this nurse works with babies that are not expected to live. And she has this miracle anointing. And people are getting this over the TV. They're having their own Come on. miracles yes. over, over television. Uh, you told me that God spoke to you that there was a portal opening for creative miracles. Tell me about that. Okay, yeah, you know, the Lord spoke to me. He said, you've been seen. He gave me a foretaste of those greater miracles. I saw a lot of greater miracles. I saw deliverance, the, the whole thing on the supernatural. But in this time, he said, there's a portal open over your ministry and, and, that, and for you to impart to my people. That's the key. Because again, we're not talking about celebrity. We're talking about the people, any believer moving the supernatural. So I saw the shift in it. I saw the shift. And, and whenever you see somebody that missing a breast and the breast grew back, and whenever you see flesh and bones growing, a kidney, and is 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 powerful. So I saw the shift in the amount and the creative in it. All right. Last month you were in Argentina. Tell me what you saw with your eyes. It's one of my churches in Argentina, and twenty-seven thousand people in the stadium. And I was going, Sid. I was going to help them to raise funds to build their temple. So I, I was there and I said, God, you know, I, you know, I just did the offering and the whole thing. And then suddenly the spirit of God said, you need to minister creative miracles. And I said to the Lord, but you know, I've been talking to the people about finances, how are you, I'm gonna do the shift. So he said, it's just gonna be a very easy prayer, quick prayer. And I just pray like two, three minutes because the portal on my life, that portal of creative, or the realm, that realm of creative. So I, I just pray, say, God, you know, create miracles, and, and I release it. Sid, we documented. It. it took 15 minutes, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes to have in the altar the first testimony. And then we have a line of, 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 of people. And then we counted. We got doctors and our people, 60 created new organs. The first lady, she was standing. And the first lady, she said, oh, my God, my breast. She said, I, I, my breast had to move because of cancer. And there's another lady. She said, I got adrenaline gland. I think adrenal, uh, adrenaline Adren gland. Adrenal. Adrenal gland, she said, had been removed. And she had a hole here. And she said, I also, he, she said, I didn't have the eardrum. I was born without it. I couldn't hear. So suddenly, she starts screaming, I can hear, I can hear. And she said, I don't have the hole anymore. The Lord put the gland in it. <laughs> and now, just like that, boom, now boom, you, boom. You 15 told minutes, 60 minutes a miracle. Wait, God will do it through those people that are watching. But, but you told me that was all you had time to document. Oh, there yeah. Many more. We got a lines and lines of people <laughs> waiting. And God will do it for those people that are watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Come on. Now, <laughs> You told me a pastor was missing two ribs. Yeah, whatever I go now, that portal goes with me. So this pastor, um, for some reason, his two, there are two ribs that had been removed. So when I declared, uh, a very quick prayer again, I declared, you know, he came up to the altar. And then he said, I have, I have the holes here. No flesh, and, and of course, the two missing ribs. So as soon as we pray, he d grew back. Those two ribs that were, were, you know, there. There was no hold anymore. God created those two brand new ribs. Uh, is, is there anyone in this house that's interested in two things? And I have my hand up before I ask the question. <laughs> Are you interested in either receiving a creative miracle there you go. or Come on. having that, Come on. that portal over you so that you can release healing miracles? Uh, I have an eye. And by the way, if you're at home, 
I can't see you, but God can see you. Again, is anyone interested? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> put two hands up. Now, here's new wine singing. My God is mighty, and he is. Come on. <laughs> Turn to more of our special presentation of A Night of Miracles in just one moment. 
early church would teach and preach the gospel of the kingdom as Jesus did, with supernatural demonstrations of power and authority. The modern day church has somehow lost this understanding. In many congregations, there are no miracles, no one gets healed, and people continue to be under demonic attack. Are you ready to see supernatural demonstrations of power and authority? Are you ready to experience miracles? Are you ready to learn how to exercise authority over the enemy? Apostle Guillermo Maldonado wants to teach you how. Call now and get Guillermo Maldonado's powerful book, Supernatural Deliverance, Freedom for Your Soul, Mind and Emotions, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Spiritual Conflict Between Two Kingdoms, plus a free bonus audio CD while supplies last, The Great Exchange, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9448. Through this book, you will learn how to overcome addictions like overeating, smoking, using alcohol and drugs, receive power to be free of anxiety, fear and compulsive desires, be empowered to be delivered from mental strongholds, extreme behaviors, sexual sin, effectively exercise God's power and authority in every area of your life and destroy the works of the devil. You will be encouraged to believe for whatever it is that you need, healing, new body parts, breakthrough in finances, freedom from emotional upheaval, deliverance from demonic attacks, better relationships with others. You will also receive Guillermo Maldonado's three-part audio CD teaching, The Spiritual Conflict Between Two Kingdoms. It's about obtaining freedom and receiving the power to overcome and end a life of struggling. Get ready to put an end to depression, bad habits, sexual bondage, fear, and shame. Understand how to destroy sin at its root. Receive the power to overcome accusation and persecution. Walk in freedom and victory over the works of darkness like never before. Plus, receive his free bonus audio CD while supplies last, The Great Exchange. Through this teaching, you will clearly understand the power of the cross and the blood of Jesus for your life. Begin to walk in what Jesus won for you at the cross, including the great exchange, taking your sickness, your sin, your shame, your guilt and failures, and exchanging them for your healing, righteousness, peace, and victory. Begin to walk in the resurrection power of Jesus, moment by moment, every day. Don't miss out on getting Guillermo Maldonado's powerful book, Supernatural Deliverance, Freedom for Your Soul, Mind, and Emotions, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Spiritual Conflict Between Two Kingdoms, plus a free bonus audio CD while supplies last, The Great Exchange, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9448. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9448 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. And now, back to our special presentation of A Night of Miracles. <laughs> Jesus used the casting out of demons to announce. That was his advertising. He didn't have the Internet and all the things we have today, but he had something more powerful. He used the casting out of demons to illustrate the fact that the kingdom of God has come on earth. Now, I'm taking you back many years, Guillermo, early in your ministry. You, like myself, like everyone, had many questions. Yes. Uh, you would wonder why people who are believers we're addicted to things like pornography and alcohol and things like that, uh, where, where people would have fears, unreasonable fears they couldn't shake. Uh, that all, you had all these questions, and God answered you. The answer was that there was, there was a missing ingredient, even in my leadership. I didn't see the church and the minister grow. And the Lord said a miss, the missing ingredient is the ministry of deliverance. Today, Sid, uh, psychology and psychiatry has replaced the Ministry of Deliverance. And, and, uh, and, and even counsel, counseling, I do counsel. One of my diplomas is in counseling. But you can't, there's a moment, that you, you do ministry counseling when the person is in the right mind. 
<laughs> you know, so there's a moment that that you need to deliver. And sometimes in America, what we do is counsel demons. You know, we we we, ha we have to cast them out. We have to cast wait, them out. Wait, would you? For some people, this is kind of new, uh, because that whole ministry, which was the thing Jesus emphasized, has been set aside. Yes. Would you define for me deliverance? Yeah, deliverance is a, a permanent removing of influences and demonic uh, oppressions from the person, <laughs> either from the mind, emotions, and will, from the soul, is, is removing, is the removal of those things of especially believers. And I believe when Jesus ministers was four stages, preaching, teaching, healing, and casting out demons. Today we do preaching and teaching, not healing a little bit and casting out demons. No, we don't want to do it. And how come we can identify with the ministry of Jesus, I would not be ashamed to do the deliverance. Jesus ministry, the ministry of deliverance of Jesus, he always did it publicly. But, but, but that does not fit in with a seeker-sensitive church. We have to be sensitive to the people with demons. Well, oh, did I say that? <laughs> 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 Sid, uh, I went to a big church. <laughs> I went to a, that was good. <laughs> uh, I went to a big church, and demons. I, I was not ministering deliverance. I was just preaching the kingdom, because when you preach the kingdom, the sign of the preaching of the kingdom is the casting out demons. So there's a confrontation. There's a conflict between two kingdoms. And, I mean, believers start manifesting and being delivered. And this pastor... Boy, 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 boy. Christ, believers, I have heard people say Christians can't have demons. Well, they cannot be possessed. Possession and demonization is totally different. There's two terms. Possession is ownership. Demonization is influence. But, but and didn't any, Jesus cast out a... Uh, a spirit of infirmity? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. I'm saying. There's, a, there's influence. But I, I'm ministering in this, in this church, and I see people being delivered, and he caught me off. He said, I will not allow anybody to vomit my carpet. And I said, listen, Jesus' blood paid for that person to be delivered. <laughs> that rod, that, that carpet, I can replace it. So he never invited anymore because they, they don't want to offend people. And unfortunately, when you minister deliverance, you will offend people. Come on. Well, our spirit is saved instantly, but you believe it takes a lifetime to work out your salvation. Okay, the soul is being transformed, being changed, and being delivered. In other words, it's not instant. Our spirit is being is saved. The Holy Spirit lives there. So that's what I don't believe. A Christian can be possessed by a demon, but can be influenced in some areas that you give place to the enemy. And there's so many areas so we, 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 that happen. Tell me some areas that could be demonic. For instance, I have found uh, that, uh, that healing, when you get rid of a spirit of infirmity, the person is, is, gets healed easy, easy. Of course, because the, the root of it is, is, is a demon. For example, I have been in a place when the Lord said to me, I want you to call every person that is sick in their body, and the doctors cannot find the cause mm -hmm. of that sickness. Usually, Sid, when that happened, is a demon, because they don't have any detectors, supernatural detectors to say is a demon. Doctor can say that unless you have discernment. <laughs> you can discern if it's a demon. So usually when I rebuke the spirit of sickness, the person is instantly healed. What? You say that we should start acting like Jesus. How did Jesus act? Well, Jesus, uh, 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 Jesus acted as the son of God anointed by the Holy Spirit. He left behind his glory. Now he's acting, you know, in the power of God. But we all, all, every believer has the power and the authority to cast out demons because so many people are afraid. No, no, I'm afraid, Why I'm afraid. Why are people so afraid of demons? Yeah, because this is tradition and, and in theology and doctrines that if you lay hands on people, that demon will jump on you. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, 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 who, the greater is he that is in me, that he is in the world. Are you, wait, wait. Are you afraid of someone that has a demon? 
I'm not at all. I mean, I'm not, a, because Jesus But wait, there was a movie, The Exorcist, and everyone is afraid. Yeah, yeah but the, 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 let's go to the scripture. Let's okay. go to the scripture. <laughs> the Lord has given us, Sid, and those people that are watching, the Lord has given us power, the ability, divine, divine ability, and God has given us the authority. Luke 10, 19, uh, Matthew 28, 19. In other words, we got both. We got the ability and we got the legal right, the authorization to use the power. Any believer has the power and the authority to cast out demons. Right. You don't have to be superstar. R right now, I want you, there are people that they're believers, but they're not free. I want you to pray a prayer for freedom for those that are watching. And while you pray it, pray it we had large numbers of prayer requests. Let's hold on to this. And you, you pray for freedom for people watching and these people to be healed. Father, in the name of Jesus, can we start praying in the Holy Spirit? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. I release that anointing for deliverance, freedom. Freedom, those that are bound, those that are, are addicted to alcohol, those that are addicted in, to uh, food, those that are addicted in depression and oppression. In the name of Jesus, right now, I set you free. Any spirit of sickness in their bodies, be healed, be delivered right now. Go in the name of Jesus. I see somebody trying to commit suicide. God is delivering you now. I see somebody that is, uh, you've been in depression for 15 years. You've taken medication. God is setting you free in the name of Jesus. God is doing something very powerful. There's someone struggling with alcohol. You're struggling with alcohol. God is setting you free in the name of Jesus. The anointing is destroying the yoke right now. Be free in the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and well, amen. Coming up, coming up, come open on. portal, deliverance, creative miracles, come on. impartation. Come on. It's coming up soon on ISN, its supernatural network, to stay with us after this broadcast goes off the air. Just log on to Sid Roth, S I D R O T H dot org slash ISN, or go to the App Store and type in. Sid Roth and download the free ISN app or on any smartphone or any device. And now here's new wine singing that oh, is so great. <laughs> Jesus is the name. <laughs>
return to more of our special presentation of A Night of Miracles in just one moment. The early church would teach and preach the gospel of the kingdom as Jesus did, with supernatural demonstrations of power and authority. The modern day church has somehow lost this understanding. In many congregations, there are no miracles, no one gets healed, and people continue to be under demonic attack. Are you ready to see supernatural demonstrations of power and authority? Are you ready to experience miracles? Are you ready to learn how to exercise authority over the enemy? Apostle Guillermo Maldonado wants to teach you how? Call now and get Guillermo Maldonado's powerful book, Supernatural Deliverance, Freedom for Your Soul, Mind and Emotions, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Spiritual Conflict Between Two Kingdoms, plus a free bonus audio CD while supplies last, The Great Exchange, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9448. Through this book, you will learn how to overcome addictions like overeating, smoking, using alcohol and drugs, receive power to be free of anxiety, fear, and compulsive desires. Be empowered to be delivered from mental strongholds, extreme behaviors, sexual sin. Effectively exercise God's power and authority in every area of your life and destroy the works of the devil. You will be encouraged to believe for whatever it is that you need. Healing, new body parts, breakthrough in finances, freedom from emotional upheaval, deliverance from demonic attacks, better relationships with others. You will also receive Guillermo Maldonado's three-part audio CD teaching the spiritual conflict between two kingdoms it's about obtaining freedom and receiving the power to overcome and end a life of struggling get ready to put an end to depression bad habits sexual bondage fear and shame understand how to destroy sin at its root receive the power to overcome accusation and persecution walk in freedom and victory over the works of darkness like never before plus receive his free bonus audio CD while supplies last the great exchange through this teaching you will will clearly understand the power of the cross and the blood of Jesus for your life. Begin to walk in what Jesus won for you at the cross, including the great exchange, taking your sickness, your sin, your shame, your guilt and failures, and exchanging them for your healing, righteousness, peace, and victory. Begin to walk in the resurrection power of Jesus, moment by moment, every day. Don't miss out on getting Guillermo Maldonado's powerful book, Supernatural Deliverance, Freedom for Your Soul, Mind and Emotions, and his three part audio CD teaching the spiritual conflict between two kingdoms plus a free bonus audio CD while supplies last the great exchange yours for a donation of $39 shipping and handling is included ask for offer number 9448 call or you can send your check to Sid Roth it's supernatural PO box 39222 Charlotte North Carolina 28278 please specify offer number 9448 or log on to SidRoth.org. call or write today and now, back to our special presentation of A Night of Miracles. Thanks again to TV oh, yes. America for partnering with us for this special live broadcast. Our next live program will be, Jan mark this down, trust me, January 26, 2017, this is our 2017 prophetic outlook. I have assembled three of the most accurate prophets on the planet. Uh, you probably haven't heard of this next man, Perry Stone. Come on. Now, Perry, by the way, <laughs> listen to this. Oh, Perry, the last time he was a guest on It's Supernatural, he said, this is what God told me about the presidential election. When the candidate wins, people will say, what? <laughs> <laughs> then Cindy Jacobs and Rich Beer, don't miss it. That's January 26, 2017. Also remember, this program continues on ISN, the It's Supernatural Network, right after this broadcast. Guillermo will be ministering under an open portal for creative miracles, deliverance, and impartation. To continue watching ISN, its Supernatural Network, from your computer, just log on to sidroth.org slash ISN 
or go to the App Store and type in Sid Roth and download the free ISN app on any smartphone or any device, and you'll have access to ISN 24 7. Uh, Guillermo, I am feeling such a wonderful, it's peaceful. It's powerful. I keep hearing words of knowledge. Yes. <laughs> I mean, soon, when I turn you loose, everything is going to happen. I, I'm convinced of that. <laughs> and uh, just, just to get people, when, 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 when Guillermo speaks, people get healed from te watching on television, from internet. He does not have to lay hands. Everything you, that people used to get by laying on a hands can occur the way the whole world was created, the spoken word. Come on. Tell me about someone that was uh, healed on the internet, uh, Christina from New Hampshire. Yeah, she had cancer, and um, as she was watching television, I was, I was, I, in my shows, always, I always pray for the people at the end. And because I understand that there's a lot of people hungry and with needs. And uh, as I ministered, she was completely healed. She just stretched her hands and, and she was completely healed. Uh, speaking of amazing miracles, tell me about that lady from Chile and her lungs. Oh, she came into the meeting uh, connected to an uh, oxygen tank and she was 24-7 connected. And the doctor said, you cannot disconnect. If you do, you're going to die. And, and the solution for her was to an implant of, of new lungs. So the doctor said, I mean, the only thing is put new lungs. Otherwise, they shut down. There's no, they're not working. So she came into the meeting, and as the presence of God came, and the moment I started... Which is what's happening now. Yeah, that's what happened. It's already here. Remember yes. when the, the Word said that Jesus, the, the power of God, was their presence to heal. Yes. So that's what we feel now. So the presence of God came, and, and, and suddenly she disconnected and ran into the stage, and, and she said, I can breathe, I can breathe. And I said, what do you feel? I said, she goes, I feel like heat here. And now I can breathe. I couldn't do this. She was running, and the doctor checked it out, and she got brand new lungs. <laughs> you say we are citizens of heaven, not subjects. Explain. Uh, subjects don't have rights. Citizens have rights. And uh, we are the uh, sons of God. The right that Jesus earned on the cross, Jesus had given it to us. So that's why we have rights. And is my right, is your right, is your right to be healed, is your right to prosper, is your right to move in miracle signs and wonders. So why come most people aren't doing that? Okay, you need to step out and start doing it now, and I will activate you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I operate in words of knowledge, in healing, and you told me before this sh uh, show started that I was going to be activated in the same anointing you have, creative miracles. But even more important than you being activated, and even more important than me act being activated, God wants you to be activated. Come on. Come on. I mean, <laughs> you realize you are God's ambassador. And as an ambassador, you need to be fully equipped. And anything in the book, it's yours. Every promise in that book, Come on. it's yes. yours. Yes. Yes. If Jesus is your Messiah and Lord, and if he's not, tell him you're sorry for your sins. Come on. Ask him to cleanse you by his blood and come live inside of you and take over your life. Say, thank you, Lord yes, Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. <laughs>
when I turn you loose. Just give us a preview. What's going to happen? Is it okay if I do that, by the way? I believe that we've been teaching and you've been hearing the word. It's just, you just need to be ready to receive what you need. You just go to the cross and you be ready to appropriate. The Lord said to me one day, he said, most of my sons and daughters, they don't know how to appropriate the work of the cross. It's already done. The portal is open. You just get in what you need. How many of you need an organ in your body? You need a knee? I've seen a lot of needs coming from heaven. <laughs> And I heard okay. people are going to get new hearts. I'm going to turn you loose. Okay. Loose! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to lift your hands before the Lord. We're going to worship God. And we're going to... Can you start praying in the Holy Spirit? In, in the church today, we are afraid to offend people. And we don't pray in tongues anymore. We don't worship in tongues anymore. Can you start worshiping in tongues out loud? Sharaboto kobre basta. Yebro shara. Let's worship. Sharabako sharabako to raba sharabako to. Sharabako to raba sharabako to. Sharabako to. Oh, shut. I want you to stand for a moment. Lift your hands over Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, barakash. Sharabakota raba sharabakota Sherebiroto ko sharabakota Shorabako sharabakota Sharabako 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 Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Here's your life, oh God. Come on, lift your hands toward him. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Let's worship together, come on. Great is your love. Here's your life, oh God. And your faithfulness reaches to the sky. I want you to lift your hands where you are. Before I start praying for people, I want you to close your eyes for a moment. One of the uh, characteristics of the anointing is that it's able to, to, to transfer. In other words, we can transfer what we have. So uh, that's what I will do. As I speak the word, I will transfer to you. So, and then I will pray for miracles. But I want you to take that impartation. And after you get this impartation, you need to import it. In other words, it's not just to keep it. You need to go and pray for the people that need new organs. You need to stand out in faith. You need to step out in faith. 
because what you got if you don't lose it if you don't release it you lose it there's so many people being activated and so many people to be in part activation is something that is in you the supernatural is in you through the holy spirit in other words don't expect to receive a great gift from god the supernatural you already have it through the holy spirit you got the supernatural but what happened is so many things that happened in our life and then we kind of we lost it so i will activate you for you to move in the supernatural miracle signs and wonders number two there's an impartation there's an impartation in my mantle for that created miracles so you need to receive it the same way you receive the baptism of the holy spirit the same way you receive uh, uh, salvation the same way you receive this impartation i want you to lift your hands say with me father god I am a believer. You need to shout and say, I am a believer. And I believe miracle signs and wonders will follow me. I believe Jesus is alive. And right now, I am activated in the supernatural. I am activated to move in miracle signs and wonders. Say, right now, right now. God, I am, God, I am available. My hands are your hands. My, hands are your hands. My mouth is your mouth. Is your mouth. Right, now, Lord, right now, Lord, I receive, I receive, I receive an impartation for miracle signs and wonders. I am activated to cast out demons, to raise the dead right now. I am activated. I have the power. I have the authority. In the name of Jesus, as I go, I will prophesy. I will cast out demons. I will pray for the sick. I will raise the dead. I will operate miracles. Right now, I receive it. Say it by faith. I receive it. By faith. Now. Now. now one two three now come on take it take it take it take it take it come on take it 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 if you're watching my television if you're watching now you connect it live be activated be activated be activated receive that impartation receive it by faith take it by faith in the name of jesus come on keep praying Okay, I want you to lift your hands toward Jesus, please. Is anybody missing an organ in your body? If you're one of those people missing an organ in your body, I want you to come up to the altar. If you're missing an organ in your body, those that are watching, I want you to see the demonstration because the demonstration produces in you the faith to believe. If you're watching me at home, and maybe you said, I'm missing an organ in my body, I need it. I'm going to pray for those people. There's some miracles that we cannot prove because they need to go to the doctors. But there's some others that can do it right now. That visibly, you will see him instantly here. And I want to call him up here. Come over here. Do a line here. Bring him up here. So tell me, can you remove the pulpit? Okay, can you remove the pulpit? Tell me, I need my team working here, please. So what are you missing, uh, son? The gallbladder. Tell me what you're missing. Gallbladder and appendix. Okay, and appendix. What are you missing? My uterus. Okay, I've seen the miracle. I've seen that miracle. Kidney. Kidney. Prostate. Okay, what what the, the kidney, what the doctor said about your kidneys? I was born with one. So you don't have another one? Right. I got a transplant, but it failed. Okay. That, that's, that's, uh, Sid, can you help me to pray for those people? I want to see it. And you? Ovaries. Ovaries. I've seen God created ovaries hundreds of times. And you? Parathyroid. Thyroid, right? What is it? Parathyroid. It's this, you got thyroid and then you got small thyroids. They took it out. My parathyroid. Okay. I want you to lift your hands. So what, what happened with her? Uh, appendix, womb. Okay. And you? I'm missing. 
missing several organs. I, uh, gallbladder, uh, tonsils, but I don't know if you need those or not anymore. Okay, we're about a uterus. Uterus, tonsils, gallbladder. Gallbladder. Okay, I want you to lift your hands toward Jesus. And this is what I want you to do. Many of you will feel like something was put in your body. But I want you to take it. Stop praying in the Holy Spirit. No spectators. I don't want no spectators. So you will declare over them. And I want my team to pray for them. You need to be working my team. I said my team working. Okay. As he declares and then you go pray for them. Go. Sit. Declare, create it, whatever organ. In the needs. name that is above the every organ. In the name that is above every demon. Go pray for those people. In the name that is above every health problem. Be the usher. Be the usher. Come In on. In Hebrew, pray. Yeshua HaMashiach Sikenu, Jesus let, let, the let Messiah, Come help me. who died, was buried, Shit. rose yes. from the dead, yes, and it, is at it. the right hand go, of go, God the Father. Go, go pray. I go pray. command from heaven, yes. from the parch room of yes. heaven, yes. for organs. More, Lord. Come on, new more, organs in your body. More, take it. More, take more. it. Take, take it. it at home. Take, take it. it at home. Take, take it. New here. organs in your body. Take it there at you go. home. Ha! Jesus. Ha! Take, it. Take, it. Take, it. take 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 it. Come on. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Something is happening. Lift your hands. Something is happening. See the power of God is on them. God is creating something in them. There you go. Para que lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Come on. Robo shara broto. Este gronda barra basara. Be created. Jesus. Get that kidney. That kidney. Lay hands on them. Obra hato shubra. New kidney. New kidney. Take it. 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 Take up Ronda. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. Check them out. What happened? Check them out. Check them out. Brian, can you help me to check them out? Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Come on, come on. Check them out. Check them out. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Check them out, ushers. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Go sing, sing, sing. Check them out. Come on, check them out. Tell me what happened. The power of God is on him. The power of God is on him. Tell, tell me, tell me what, what is happening. What is happening? The power of God. I need volume is here, please. I need volume here. The power of God. Touch me. What do you feel? Well, tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going down to the Jesus, touch mark. Yeah, yeah. I got the power of God. Did you check them out? Tell me, tell me what happened. Check them out, check them out. Taking too long. Tell me, tell me. Like cramping moving in my stomach. Like I, I can't hear her. Like cramping moving in my stomach. Uh, okay, what happened? Tell me. I only feel like cramping, like muscle spasm starting in my stomach. Was your stomach empty? I had my uterus removed because cancer okay, what happened cells, now? endometriosis. I feel like cramping. Like it's Is it feel now? It feels like it's trying to come back, like I'm trying to receive something out of the air. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. It's, 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 trying. Come on. Come it's already on you. Get it, get it, get it. Thank, Thank you for it. Come on, it's Jesus. Stop trying. And tell it's me, what happened? It's yours. What is my team? It's what yours. happened over there? What happened over there? Orlando, hurry up. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Apostle, when I was praying for her, she was missing uh, a, a part of her thyroid. Okay, tell me. Yeah, yeah, you explain to me. Tell me. Thyroid. Help, so, help. It cannot, she cannot, uh, it, it, she cannot prove that it's already there. She believed it by faith, but she, but the moment you prayed, she felt that something came tell upon her. Tell me what her. you feel. What did you feel? I just, I just felt like something happened, but I didn't feel like, like, you know, you've had this thing about where someone came and put it in. I didn't feel that, but I felt like something happened there. Okay, you go back to the doctor so we can check now. Yes. But take it, receive it by faith in Jesus' name. Come on. Come on, pick him up, pick him up. Anybody else? Okay, tell me. Tell me over there. Tell me. 
Pastor, this is Allison. I can't hear the, the music. This is Allison. She came up for because of her gallbladder. She's missing her gallbladder. As she we pray for her, she's missing. She was missing her gallbladder. When she came up, she felt the, she felt the power of God hit her. She felt a heat right there. And not only that, but the Lord began to heal her and deliver her emotions. And she feels like a weight has been lifted from her. So it was a double miracle in her heart and in her gallbladder. Tell me, tell me, what did you feel? I felt, I felt a weight leave. So just come out. So how and long ago they moved that gallbladder? 1990. So what, did you feel something? A heat? Come on, that's 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 she it. That's felt it. The heat Come on, on <laughs> you still feel you still feel that heat. Come on, in Jesus' name. Anybody else? Anybody else? Tell me, tell me. As we were praying, um, I felt that there was a generational curse operating in her life, and I started breaking it. And I felt that it was from her grandmother's side, from her third generation. She clearly testified that it's something of witchcraft from her grandmother's side okay, what was wrong over with her? the uterus. She says she says she feels pressure in her uterus. Tell me. I feel pressure, and I could actually, while she was praying for me, I could actually see like the the female organ area huh. highlighted. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put your hand together? Come on, what happened? <laughs> Anybody else? Oh. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Tell, tell me what happened. Yes. I, um, Orlando, help. I, I've been without a kidney for all my life, and I had a transplant, and the transplant failed. And it's, it's hard right here. I can feel it, but now it's soft. I can't. Wow. Ah, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's soft. <laughs> you skeptics it's, uh, it's out soft. there, I see. hear you saying at home, Ooh, what? This is soft. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, come on, put your hand together there. Wow, Jesus. Come on, can we pray for those people in, on television? I, that's why I was yes. going to just yeah, ask yeah, you they, to. I wanted to demonstrate, do the demonstration, because I want those people to receive. Sit down. Can we can you stop praying in the Holy Spirit? Out loud, come on. Where are the tele? Where camera can I direct? Tell me. Which one? To minister. Which, over there in the back. Can you, can you lift your hands and pray in the Holy Spirit? Father, in the name of Jesus, those that are watching, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, anybody that needs an organ in your body, I want you to lay hands on the body, and we're going to release those creative miracles. Father, in the name of the Lord, there's, there's an eardrum being created now. There's a woman, you lost your eardrum when you were seven years old. God is creating a new eardrum. There you go. Come on, keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Flesh, bones. Is anybody needs a knee? There was somebody here that needed a knee. Uh, God is creating a new knee over there in television. If you're here, you need to take it. Orlando, can pray for her. Pray for somebody that needs a new knee. Come on, if you need a new knee, come on. Cartilage, you need a new cartilage. You need to run. You need to run. Come on, run. Come on, come on. New heart and someone with carpal tunnel. Okay. If you move your hand, Come you'll on, move, say move, move. What there's no pain. A new heart. No a pain. New heart. Come on, I want to see anything it. wrong in your hand. Come up here. Your Come hands up here. are being come healed on, my right team, now. Pray for the people. Come on. Come on. Do you need a new knee? Hurry up. Hurry up. How, how many people need new bones in your body? You need bones or flesh. If you need flesh and bones in your body, I want you to come up. Run, run, run. Uh, Stop praying. And you that cannot come up because you're watching by internet or TV. Stop praying for I'm the people. You, Don't wait for me. This is as much for you praying. Come on, as lift your hands. for these people here because God come is on. not a respecter Stephanie. of persons. Stephanie. He's a respecter Work. of belief. If you will be only believe in the name on, of Jesus, pray for the people. all your knees. things, all, come on, all, 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 Come on, come on, lift your hands. Things are possible. If you're watching by the internet, if you're watching by television, Father, in the name of Jesus, release the portal of miracles. Create it. Come on, pray it in the Holy Spirit. This is not a show. This is a manifestation of creative miracles. Father, release a open a portal of creative miracles in their bodies as they're watching television right now. I count to three. One, two, three. Now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Flesh are being created. Bones are being created. There's something in the back being created. 
there's a, a, a someone watching and you have a, a, a hole in your head, in your brain. God is creating new flesh and bones right now. God is turning metals into bones. If there's anybody here, there's anybody here that have metals in your body, I want you to come up to the altar. If you have metals in your body, run, run, run in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Come on. Stop praying. My team praying for the people. Bring them up. If they're already healed, come on, bring them up. Where is uh, Orlando? Where are you? God, pray for those people. They're already healed. Come on. They're already healed. Come on. Run, run, do something. Come on. Praise. Oh, barato, suprecata, shida, broto, koshi. There's somebody, somebody here, your son has some problem with, your, with his feet. Somebody here in the house, you got a son, your son got some problem. I see the, the like the foot is, is, is twisted. God is doing something with that foot. Is that you, uh, daughter, is that you? Come up here. Come up. God is healing your son right now. Come on, lift your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Check them out. 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 Quickly, guys. Quickly. 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 Check them out. Shombri hata shira baranda. Cerebro toko shira barada. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak to those bones, those that are watching by television, those that are watching by the internet, I speak to your bones. Be healed, be delivered. I rebuke every spirit of sickness. I rebuke every spirit of sickness. Go, 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 go. Take somebody's being healed, a back condition. Eyes are being healed. Eyes are being healed here and in television right now in the name of Jesus. Eyes are being healed. Ears are being healed right now. Pro also. Ears, ears, ears. Something is happening with the ears. Take it. Take it. Check it out. Check it out. Daughter, check your daughter out. Check it out. Check it out. God is healing her. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Lift your hands. Keep praying. God is, God is releasing. Check them out. Check them out. Get the microphone. God is creating new knees. God is creating new knees. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Come on, get the microphone. Get the microphone. Get the microphone. Get the microphone. I need the microphone. I need a microphone here. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. She she said she says she she couldn't she has a problem with her what knee. What's wrong? What what did you need? A brand new, a brand new knee? Knee. Yes. Okay. See see what happened, Sid. Tell me. I've been having problem going down the stairs. I had an accident three months ago. So the doctor said you need a brand new knee. Yeah, I have um, cartilage. I messed up my cartilage on my knee. Oh, you lost your cartilage. Yeah. And then what and happened? Something then? That right now, look. God created what? a brand new knee. <laughs> Could you do that before? No, no, no. Can you move? Can you move? Come on, come on. Come on over here. They can't all see you. Come on. Come hey! On how long have you been that way? Three months. Yeah. So God, Father, in the name of Jesus, and man, come on, tell me what happened. Get the microphone, guys. She had. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Apostle, she got healed. Nobody, nobody pray for her. Tell me what Apostle, happened. Apostle, she had a knee replacement. She couldn't kneel down. The moment you prayed, she started kneeling down. Look at her now. Go, go, go. She couldn't do that. She said, "There's no way unless God creates a brand new knee." God created a brand new knee. Yes, a brand new knee. I can't hear the, the sound. So what happened? I just prayed like you told me to pray and believe like you told me to believe. And I knew that you were going to heal my knee. Tell me. And I Move. know my husband has been healed of all this stuff in his back. All this titanium rods and everything that you they. You lay hands on him when I you get am. Down. I am a man. Move, right move. now, come I'm on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, move, move. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me over here. Well, my, my knee feels better, but my hip doesn't feel any better. Okay, you need to bring it. Okay, come on, come over here. Hurry up, another one. Okay. Tell me. She had torn, men a torn meniscus in her left leg for over 16 years, and today she was finally able to do this. And not only okay, that. Okay, so, so tell me. 
So what were you missing? You needed to create something? Uh, meniscus. Okay, listen to this, Sid. Okay, yes. Yeah, tell me. So I had a torn meniscus on both sides. Kneecap had shifted. Ten years ago, they put it back into place, but I've not walked right since. I battled it for 16 so years. So what did the doctor said? They wanted to do more surgery. So now what happened? And now I can bend my knee. <laughs> Come on. Come on, give him a big praise. What happened over here? Apostle, this is Barbara. Two years ago, they removed her entire knee and replaced it what, with steel. What, what, her what, entire what? knee was removed and they replaced it with steel. Her body was rejecting the steel so she would get pain. She came here with pain today. We started praying for her and the Lord began to take away the pain. Now she says she doesn't feel the steel anymore. God made bone okay. in her knee. All right, listen, listen now. We have a hard out coming right now, but this is what I can tell you. Too much is given, much is required. Yes. You have been given, you at home, you eating the popcorn, I see you. No, I don't, but I know you're eating that popcorn. I say to you, go throughout the whole world and proclaim the good news to every creature. Come on in Jesus' name. And those who believe will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Come they on. will cast Come out on. demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will be normal. Not according to the religion, not according to the tradition, but the written word of the living God. The early church would teach and preach the gospel of the kingdom as Jesus did, with supernatural demonstrations of power and authority. The modern day church has somehow lost this understanding. In many congregations, there are no miracles, no one gets healed, and people continue to be under demonic attack. Are you ready to see supernatural demonstrations of power and authority? Are you ready to experience miracles? Are you ready to learn how to exercise authority over the enemy? Apostle Guillermo Maldonado wants to teach you how. Call now and get Guillermo Maldonado's powerful book, Supernatural Deliverance, Freedom for Your Soul, Mind and Emotions, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Spiritual Conflict Between Two Kingdoms, plus a free bonus audio CD while supplies last, The Great Exchange, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9448. Through this book, you will learn how to overcome addictions like overeating, smoking, using alcohol and drugs, receive power to be free of anxiety, fear, and compulsive desires. Be empowered to be delivered from mental strongholds, extreme behaviors, sexual sin. Effectively exercise God's power and authority in every area of your life and destroy the works of the devil. You will be encouraged to believe for whatever it is that you need. Healing, new body parts, breakthrough in finances, freedom from emotional upheaval, deliverance from demonic attacks, better relationships with others. You will also receive Guillermo Maldonado's three-part audio CD teaching the spiritual conflict between two kingdoms it's about obtaining freedom and receiving the power to overcome and end a life of struggling get ready to put an end to depression bad habits sexual bondage fear and shame understand how to destroy sin at its root receive the power to overcome accusation and persecution walk in freedom and victory over the works of darkness like never before plus receive his free bonus audio CD while supplies last the great exchange through this teaching you will will clearly understand the power of the cross and the blood of Jesus for your life. Begin to walk in what Jesus won for you at the cross, including the great exchange, taking your sickness, your sin, your shame, your guilt and failures, and exchanging them for your healing, righteousness, peace, and victory. Begin to walk in the resurrection power of Jesus, moment by moment, every day. Don't miss out on getting Guillermo Maldonado's powerful book, Supernatural Deliverance, Freedom for Your Soul, Mind and Emotions, and his three part audio CD teaching the spiritual conflict between two kingdoms plus a free bonus audio CD while supplies last the great exchange yours for a donation of $39 shipping and handling is included ask for offer number 9448 call or you can send your check to Sid Roth it's supernatural PO box 39222 Charlotte North Carolina 28278 please specify offer number 9448 or log on to SidRoth.org. call or write today
Many viewers report testimonies of miracles, signs and wonders, and healings as a result of watching It's Supernatural. I had an accident on my school bus, which left me in a lot of pain in my lower back. My doctor said if I didn't get the surgery, I would be in a wheelchair. My husband saw your TV program and prayed in agreement with your guest that my lower back would be healed. At the same time he was praying,